Hey everybody, it's Rabbit, and welcome back for more Magic Night Ray Earth. It has been a little while since I have last uploaded videos. As I said in our previous episode together, I was kind of drained just from everything that happened in that episode, so I was kind of like, I need a couple days of a break. And then after I recorded that, my father came and stayed with us. And by us, I mean my husband and myself for a couple of days. So that ended up pushing back the opportunity for me to record even further. So I hope you guys have been looking forward to more. I'm really excited. Our background is Makona, and I think that's the first time we've gotten that one. I feel like we often get Presia, and maybe Zagat is another common one that we get. But anyway. Let's go ahead and dive right in. And I guess as a quick little update prior to us just launching forward into the lake village of Lukido, when I signed off with you guys last, I did spend a little bit of time off camera and I went back into the waterfall secret pathway or secret passage. And in that room where the little platforms disappeared, instead of going to the right side, which leads out to the exit, I ended up taking like a left path. Some of you had PM'd me about that and you said you noticed that there was a little section that you thought led somewhere else. And so I did go back and I went up in that left area of that room and I got an orange amulet. And then I spent some time just grinding. In a sense, I killed a lot of monsters just to collect gems. And then I went back to Larry and I bought that heart piece that was in the store and I gave it to Umi. So I think those are the only updates I have for you guys. And I'd say that's a pretty good intro. So let's go ahead and get started. As far as actual story is concerned, where we concluded previously, we ended up having a lot of shit happen at the end of the waterfall secret pass. Um, basically, we met up with Caldina and she threw a bitch fit and our beloved Alto, who was actually um, Ascot, ended up passing as well as Caldina. So it was a really, really crazy episode. And we got a nice little anime cutscene that lasted more than 20 seconds. So that was also pretty cool. And you can see I only have 37 of my gems left now because I spent the 500 giving Umi the little upgrade from Larry. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue. We already talked to this asshole, and I don't think we really explored, so we will talk to everyone. I'm not sure what our objective is here, but oh, okay. Let's see what they've got. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll just kind of look around, and I can imagine the girls are probably just really overwhelmed with everything that's transpired. There's something strange about the big lake here. How many lakes do you know of that have a patch of land right in the center? Hmm, that does sound interesting. Did you know that there's an actual town up on that floating island in the sky? We like to call it the Sky Garden. <laughs> okay. They say that the people up there worship the statue of their protector, a giant bird. Hmm, I have a feeling that we're gonna be going there, guys nothing and yes just keeping up with tradition I am gonna read everything so we can try not to lose oh what did that say take these stairs and head all the way back to reach Sephiro National Museum Ooh, we might do that soon enough let me just run over to the right side <sighs> gotta charge up here we already talked to that kid and did I lose Umi well one of the girls is gonna be missing it's inevitable Late at night, I've been hearing loud thuds. Sounds like footsteps, actually. At first, I thought it was my tubby little honey, but then I realized they sounded bigger than that. Personally, I think it's the terrible beast that is hiding in the lake. Oh. Sounds like we've got something to slaughter. The monster that's been seen around town at night must be pretty huge. When it walks around, the ground trembles around it, sometimes violently. A woman in the end got hurt when the trembling caused a shelf to collapse on her. Fortunately, she survived, but she hurt her arm pretty bad. Oh, that sucks. Well, <laughs> we'll go and see if we can find the person. Oh, Hikaru. There's a kid named Nero who lives in this village. He's adventurous, to say the least. If his mother doesn't keep an eye on him, he's going to become that monster's midnight snack. Jeez. There's, they certainly are throwing a lot of info at us, but we'll manage. 
Nero says he's going to go after the monster at the lake for what it did to his mother. I understand how he feels, but don't you think he's going a little overboard? I don't know. We haven't met Nero yet. Let's come up here. This house is really nice. Jakari, you're too, you're too polite. Okay, so... Doesn't look like there's going to be anything <laughs> here for us. So... Let's go and keep exploring the town. We'll just talk to everyone that we come across. Oh, what is this? That looks like... That is so weird. I'm not sure what that is supposed to be. But let me look at this stupid lamppost. It would be nice if it happened to happen. No, Hickey. This way. I guess there's nothing in that one. And did we already talk to you? Late at night, a monster emerged from the lake and came in. I went to get my art kit to paint a picture, but when I came back, it was gone. Isn't that nuts? Yes, indeed it is. <laughs> that is really adorable. All right, so I guess we'll ascend here, and I am really suspicious of these little statues. I bet there's going to be something hidden in one of them. So we will keep clicking. All right, let's try out this house. I wonder if this is the inn and where new... Oh, God, or this might be the museum. These look like those monsters that we fought. Oh, God. <laughs> Why? Why is it standing still like that? It's probably stuck, Tiki. I love Hikaru's reaction. I wonder what the other girls will do. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. She's the only one that doesn't really get a... Dun -dun 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 sound. I guess because Fu probably is somewhat, somewhat slash semi, kind of combined, combined those two words there. She's probably somewhat accustomed to museums and things like that. Oh, were you frightened? Don't be scared. They're just life-size dolls. I use them to scare off <laughs> them annoying zealots who come to the door all the time. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. Can I get over there or are these things kind of barricading this? Jeez, I guess we're not going to find anything because, <laughs> what? This is one very disturbed individual. <laughs> That's a pretty funny thing to say. Okay, well, we'll go upstairs. I guess so far we haven't really spoken to whoever it is that runs the inn or is Nero's mother. I'm gathering that they're going to be in the same location. The lady as well as Nero. So we'll go. Whoops, get out of my way, kid. And instead of taking the stairs first, let's just go up and see what's over here. The spirit beast from the lake has everyone scared, but in truth, it hasn't hurt anyone. Well, except for young Nero's mother, but I believe that was an accident. And yeah, it sounds like an accident. It just is heavy and it made some shit fall and she got hurt. But I don't think they can really blame the beast for that. But we'll keep going and see what we find over here. Just an old man. I recently heard about a village out there that keeps monsters away with the magic barrier. I sure wish we had one of those things. Oh, is he talking about that place that had... <gasps> oh my god, guys, we can swim here. It is a lake village, but I don't want to go in here yet because I imagine this will be the path that we'll take to get over to the spot where this beast is coming from. So we'll hold off on exploring right there. And I think we just talked to... Geez, because of this thing, it keeps glitching. Do you know who Zagat is? Of course. Keep this between us, okay? The reason all these strange things have been happening is because Emerald was kidnapped. And the one who kidnapped her was none other than Zagat himself. It's all over the tabloids. Bitch, are you just now figuring this out? Because um, we've known about this for a really, really long time. Can I get over there? No. Well, this place seems big, but it is, I would say, straightforward. Oh, I wonder what this place is. Well, we have no choice but to explore. Who are you? My son Nero is a little too caught up in his vivid imagination. He says he wants to grow up to be a magic knight, like in the legends. What legends? Ugh, I wish I could talk some sense into him. Maybe you girls could give it a try. Maybe we can. 
Except we are the legendary magic knight, so I don't think that would really do anything. Okay, well. Jeez, this house is fucking huge. Who needs a house this big? We'll start upstairs, I get. Oh my god. Oh, it's the inn. Okay. I was about to seriously be like, why the fuck is this place so big? But, you know, I guess if people want to visit, they gotta have a place to stay. And I know this is not really interesting, us just going into rooms and trying to talk to things. But I don't want to miss anything, and at least we know for the most part we're in the right area. I'm just wondering if there's going to be a secret item somewhere. But maybe not. And it looks like this is the end of the upstairs. So we'll go back downstairs and see. Can I not go in there? The sign says, kitchen area, please keep out. Guess it's off limits. Yeah, I guess so. Can I look at this sign? Stop running. The arrow seems to be pointing to the main area of the inn. Okay, so we'll go and just talk to Nero. Oh, can I sneak into the inn anyway? Why would you have that sign when I can come in the other way? Oh, my arm is just killing me. That darn monster made the whole house shake and a shelf collapsed right on my arm. It's not too serious, but my son Nero is quite concerned about it. He's vowed to get the monster back, no matter what. I hope he doesn't do anything rash. Yeah, I hope not either, because that's going to cause a mess for us. Okay, let's go talk to Nero. I imagine it's this little kid right here. That stupid monster, I'm going to get him if it's the last thing I do. And oh my god, Nero is so fucking cute. Say, aren't you the legendary magic knights that everyone's been talking about? Whoa, can you take me on as your student? That way, I can get strong enough to gain revenge on the monster that hurt my mom. Aren't you a little young to be so, um, vindictive? Hikaru, he's just a boy. His mother was hurt, and he needs to feel empowered. Huh? Um, yeah, what she said. Except the part about me being a boy. I'm a man. <laughs> he is so fucking adorable. And I'm going to prove it by taking out that wordless monster. Whoa, slow down, pup. Why don't you leave the dangerous stuff to us, okay? If you get hurt or killed going up against that monster, your mommy would be crushed. You mean like the monster crushed her arm? I'm going to get that monster no matter what. You just wait and see. Oh, God, I love his design. He's so adorable. Move out of my fucking way, though. I'm trying to look in. I guess these are plants? I don't know. I wonder if after looking around, if nothing spawns for us, we should just go ahead and get back in the water and start swimming to that area, which I believe would take us to the little landlocked spot that the bitch was talking about. I guess that thing right there. So this at least gives us a nice bird's eye view. Looks like there's a pier that way and that's the island, so. We will finish exploring this town and we'll see if the girls have anything to say in their journals. And then we'll conclude this episode and when we come back together, we should be done with Lukito. And yeah, there are like two ways of entering the water. Uh, we'll be finished. Oh no, I always fucking do that and I never get to see what I picked up. I gotta stop spamming my button, but I think it was green. I guess we can pause the camera later and see, but I'm gonna just say it's green because that's what I think it is. And have I talked to you? A spirit beast dwells in the lake here. Long ago it took people to the sky garden. Well, it's an old story. I can't really say if it's true or not. We'll find out. But that's nice, so we got another one of those fucking amulets, or jewels, or whatever they're called. And that's the guy that gives us the hint if you pay him, which I'm not fucking doing. And this should be the last house for us to look- Oh, this is the museum! The Pillar of Sephiro, Princess Emerald. She really is beautiful. I am curious to see what Umi has to say. Wow, who does her nails? Oh my gosh. I hope she's okay. I really like that each of the girls are so different and they just give you a nice glimpse of the same situation from different perspectives. I really do like that. When she was young, Princess Emerald used to play handball at the schoolyard with these. Hee <laughs> hee, just kidding. What? Oh, it's just all the girls again, perceptions of <laughs> what a colorful set of balls. 
Looks like some kind of necklace or bracelet. I believe this is a necklace. Is that a necklace? <laughs> Car's face. It's a big pot. There's some kind of strange writing on it. Must be ancient. It's a big stone pot with weird writing on it. It's a big old pot. It probably fossilized over time, which is why it's here. It's a huge diamond. Look at the size of this diamond. The rock on my wedding ring better be at least that big. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's funny. It's a see-through ball. What's so special about it that it's here in a museum? This must be some kind of key part of Sephiroth's culture for it to be in a museum. Is it some kind of medicine ball? And did we read what that thing is? A marshmallow. It's a small rock with a tiny inscription on it. Is it me or does it look kind of soft? If I didn't know any better, I'd have to say that this little thing was a marshmallow. And it looks like that's a rock too. Maybe I can't look at that. Oh, I think that's just the balls. Now, this actually looks like it belongs in a museum. I wonder what it says. It's some kind of lithograph. There are letters engraved on this lithograph, but they're not of our alphabet. No shit, guys. You're in a completely different land. It's a case full of weird rocks. Too bad there's no escudo among them. Arl, Thuride, and Custo must be the proper names for these minerals, I guess. Oh, no. Didn't mean to click you again, foo. There's, there are some weird rocks. It says the mini minerals of Sephiro next to them. Interesting. I wonder what this stupid... No, we looked at that one. Oh, okay. So they're all just on one display. Cool. I wish we had some... Or had armor like this. Whoa, golden armor. Impressive. This armor is made of pure gold and it looks tough. Armor of the legendary magic knights fully restored. So we're not the first? Why would that upset her? Wow, cool. Oh, come on. I meant to get Umi. The last magic knights... I wonder who they were. What? Three tall men? So I guess the previous Magic Knights were males? It looks like fine art. It's a silhouette. I wish I could see it, but our little stupid thing is blocking it. But it does kind of look like men if you guys look at the top left side of the screen. And I wish I could see the armor, but it's like totally obstructed by that stupid... Well, it's not stupid, but by the little portrait of the girls and their health. Let's see. See the future in the sphere of truth. All I see is some rust. People really believe this? I don't see anything. Looks pretty sharp. I wonder how they got this. Looks like glass to me. Really, girls? This is it? I wonder if this is the middle thing? Nope. Okay, we're almost done. It's a big map of Sephiro. Looks a little small. All right, one last thing. It says, the land of Sephiro, or how about not Tokyo, where Umi should be now? What a bad attitude. How do they know if the map is properly sized or not? The land of Sephiro, and what a strange and exciting land it is. I really love Hikaru's attitude. She is amazeballs. But okay, guys, this is perfect timing anyway. I apologize that this video ended up being a bit lackluster since the majority of it was just spent exploring and we did get to talk to some people and learn a little bit of the history of this area so I think at the very least that's pretty cool but when we come back together on the next episode we are going to well, I was gonna say we're gonna delve into the waters and see if we can go over to that little land or island that's just sitting in the midst of the lake but Umi kind of went ahead of me and is just chilling. So anyway, guys, when we come back together, we're going to go ahead and get started with that. And I guess we'll start off the video technically by seeing if there are new journal entries. But nevertheless, I will see you guys on the next video. I am your host, Rabbit, and thanks for joining me for more Magic Night Ray Earth. See you soon, guys.